Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm just sitting here doodling uh, some character profiles on the iPad Pro. And I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison of iPad Pro, uh, I'm sorry, Procreate. It's not made by iPad Pro. It's just an app on the iPad Pro. And uh, Sketchbook Pro, or Sketchbook's app, I should say. Goodness, I'm just slaughtering this. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do is show you some of the strengths and weaknesses, I think. It's not going to be a full comparison and all the detail of these apps because there's just a lot to them. But one of the things I will say is that I prefer drawing uh, almost exclusively or just pretty much my favorite drawing uh, uh, mode, I guess, is, is with Procreate. Procreate just feels extremely natural. So, and, and I'll go a step further with that. I'll say my favorite sketching. Okay, so almost... All my ideas conceptualized right here on the iPad Pro, uh, mainly because it, I'm so mobile with it. I think I started these guys in a coffee shop, but um, so I'm like getting around, drawing in different places, which is always fun and important to do. Um, and forgive me, this looks like Savage Dragon from Image Comics, and it's really not. It's like maybe his younger brother, Average Savage Dragon, or somebody. I don't know, but it's not Savage Dragon. I just. I just had the idea to put these fins on top of his head, and then I was like, oh man, I just pretty much drew somebody else's character I'm stealing or something. But um, but yeah, so essentially, you know, just sitting here doodling away, and I really love the drawing ability on this. It's got great pressure sensitivity, great line variation, um, just a very, very natural euphoric feel to the whole drawing process. So... I really think that they they nail uh, they nailed the head on the head they hit the nail on the head with the way that this reacts with drawing uh, it just feels like you're drawing on paper and I've talked about this before uh, and it's very light and airy feeling it just the the pencil itself sits well in your hand so so all the things combined with Procreate and drawing they did a really good job like I just love sketching on this okay and even refining work and even doing some digital painting. The one thing that I don't like per se as much, and I'll, I'll show you, let's make sure, I'll kind of combine these layers, you just kind of click on this, merge down, it's going to get rid of that one that I didn't want anyways, merge that down, uh, swipe over and duplicate. And what you can do here is you can actually lock transparency by doing a two finger swipe to the right. You can pick a color, I'll pick something like a, a bit of a soft blue, almost like a blue line effect. Go back here, click once, click fill. So it's got these very like just quick and easy and effective ways to do things, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, it just really saves time. It's amazing. I almost prefer inking with the pencil, and this is why. I'm going to go to like, I've tried different inking brushes. I've made some. You can get them on my gum roll, things like that. I'm not trying to pitch here, just saying you can. There'll be links in the uh, description box below. Um, and although it feels pretty good, it does this thing, and if anybody knows the answer to this, I'd love to hear it. It does this thing where it feels a little bit, like, a little bit whimsical. I don't know how else to describe this. Uh, where it slides a bit. And at first I thought, well, it's, you know, just the surface of the, um, the screen. You know, because one of the things I had to really uh, get across with uh, using, like, the Intuos series tablets and things, I had to get used to sliding across the screen. I also had to try different tips for the uh, uh, the Wacom pens to get it to slow down on the screen. That really helped me get the kind of line clarity that I wanted. With this I have to do a lot of uh, what I call line throwing or throwing the lines uh, just to get the right kind of feel to the line because you know you see I'm kind of undoing and redoing until I get something uh, you know close to what I'm looking for before I move on to the next line. So I do a lot of that because I feel like the ink lines in this are a little too whimsical. I really can't think of a better word there. Like uh, they flow out too fast, like they, there's too much ink on the brush. I don't know. But anyways, it, it just does. It feels a little bit less controlled. I guess that would be the better way to say it. Um, where, you know, I'm going to show you in Sketchbook Pro or Sketchbook's app. I got to quit saying Pro because that's actually the desktop version. Uh, Sketchbook's app does a little bit better job with the inking. So now, you know, I guess you have to think about, okay, do I use both apps? Uh, which, if you're going to do comics on these, you're probably going to have to use... I just can't seem to get the right kind of line. Now, traditionally, if I got a pretty good ink pen that I can use, I'll do like this 
you know, kind of redrawing or chicken scratch or resketching the line. But you can see I can't even get that to happen here. So, and even up close, my lines don't look as good as I typically would like them to look for inking. So, so let's do this now. I just want to show you that why I think this may ink a bit better and why utilizing these two apps together uh, kind of works. So I guess even in that sense, it's not so much that this is a comparison as much as maybe why it might be good to use uh, these two apps together to perform your, perform your comic work. So with that, let's move over to Sketchbook's app and uh, see if I can get a little bit better inking experience and show you the difference. Okay, so now we're inside the Sketchbook app and I've already set up the artwork. So I imported the artwork and I brought it in and I put a screen layer over top. You can add a layer with this button here, the plus sign. Sorry, you can't see my hand hovering, can you? Uh, the plus sign right up top there. You tap on that layer and you can change your blending mode to screen. I'll fill that with like a light blue and then I put a layer over top. And this is actually the same way that I do it inside of Sketchbook Pro on the desktop version. Okay, so now we go to this brush over here and you know I've got it set pretty high but I've got a lot of resolution on the canvas. But I can get a nice thin to thick line which is what I'm after. Okay, so the main difference that I notice here is that when I, when I do these lines, I can kind of end up hitting the mark a, a little bit better. So a little bit more control. So I can even kind of feather this line in and get it to land where I need it to. Where on the other uh, you know, version of Procreate, I couldn't really do that as well. Uh, I'm not saying it's entirely perfect for me because I'm, uh, I'm actually a little bit less familiar with this uh, program. I spend I've spent countless hours inside of Procreate, so I'm, I'm pretty well familiar with that one now and the way it works. Uh, and again, still trying to get the brushes to react the way that I'd like to in that program. But for having little to no uh, real time logged in on this one, I'm able to get the inking brush to feel pretty accurate. So I think uh, my deduction anyways, what I've deduced, is uh, you know that I'm, I'm probably going to be drawing and Procreate and inking in this program. Until I can get my Procreate inking brushes uh, settings just right and figure out what it is uh, I may have set up wrong there. And I've tried everything. I've tried the pressure curves. Uh, I've tried manipulating different brushes. It seems to be that what it does is when, when you kind of flick the line like this, instead of getting a nice straight uh, clean tip like that, which is kind of essential for what we're doing here for uh, comic inking, it, uh, it does a little bit of a, a bend at the end, a little bit of a loss of control is what it feels like. Uh, so again, not sure if that's something on my end, and I'll, I'll make sure to do an updated video if I find something wrong with that. But the main thing that I would say, the main thing to uh, take away from this, is that it might be beneficial to utilize both programs together. Now they're apps, so they're not an arm and a leg, like uh, you know, like telling somebody on here, hey, go out and buy a Sketchbook Pro, or it's actually a, I think it's a rental version. And this may be as well. I believe this this is a purchase, but um, but telling them to go out and buy that and buy Manga Studio and buy Photoshop, you know, gets a little bit daunting for people, and it, it's hard for me to really sell that. And I don't I don't want to sell that. I don't want to tell people they have to have all those programs to produ uh, produce good art. I utilize them because I teach them on here, obviously, and because I. Uh, really like finding the best in each program and, and utilizing it when I can. Uh, that being said, you can make any program do what you're after with enough uh, time and perspiration or dedication or whatever word you want to use there. But essentially this, this is working and it does feel like a bit more control, even though I'm not real happy with the lines I just put down there. Uh, let me do the eyes. Eyes are always fun. Or I. There's no plural there. And you know I can, I can get in here and get a pretty confident line. I can even throw the line, and get it to feel pretty accurate to what I'm after. So the inking in here to me is a touch better. I still do enjoy the drawing process a little bit better in Procreate. Uh, I definitely love Procreate, uh, Procreate's interface and ease of use more. And I also really enjoy digitally painting in Procreate. So. So I don't know that I'd be switching uh, altogether, but I definitely will be doing more inking in this program uh, when I'm working solely on the uh, the iPad, and that's uh, iPad Pro really. But and that's really what we're all after here. Like I, I would think, you know, based on the comments I've seen from people 
and you know what I've read from other uh, comments and other people's videos and things like that I think a lot of people really want to create uh, full-fledged comics solely on uh, the iPads just just for the mobility probably and the lower cost of entry you know it's like the iPad Pro is their most expensive one and it's costly it costs uh, for that in the Apple Pencil I think it was a thousand dollars if I remember correctly um, but you know it's it's still very low cost in comparison to like a Cintiq which is gonna run you uh, about uh, I think their most entry-level Cintiq is what is it twelve hundred um, so you're you know you're you're basically getting in and the apps are cheaper that's the other thing uh, but you do have to think about certain workarounds and that's kind of the purpose of this video as, as well to just kind of show you that that you know you may need to use a couple apps but if the apps are only setting you back like 10 12 bucks or whatever they are they're usually not much uh, then it's really not that big of a deal uh, to uh, to go ahead and do that to just um, you know get a couple apps and try to do it now I don't know uh, and this is an opportunity for you guys to chime in and let me know and share your knowledge I haven't tried to um, uh, to letter do any word balloons or lettering yet on these I really need to and I was I was actually gonna attempt to try to do it by hand but uh, you know that's not really efficient so if you guys know of any uh, programs that are great for the word balloons comment in the section below you know start some dialogue back and forth uh, share the information with everybody because uh, I don't know it so I can't share it with you but um, but yeah so at any rate I'm gonna bring this one to a close I'm not gonna ink this whole thing I got to get back on some other projects here, but I did want to share this. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and I think that the inking is in here is pretty, pretty darn spot on. You know, it'd probably be a touch better, but it's it's definitely noticeably better, uh, I think, than it is in Procreate. Uh, but I do like the drawing better in Procreate. I do like the interface better there. So let me know what you think of this video. Uh, what else you'd like to see in the future? I'll be sure to get that on the schedule. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.